Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of my club on Pro Evolution Soccer 2015. If you are new to the channel, remember to drop a subscription, drop a like rating as well. And as you can see, the team's looking quite good. Even the new right back we put in there, um, as we did get from the last episode, actually gets a little bit of team spirit. The team spirit seems to be all over the spot. I don't know how to get it any better. There is a little bit of a red patch getting underneath the uh, right wing forward and the left wing forward as well. But um, Julio Baptista and also Toure, who we've had since the start of the series, does not seem to be changing at all. Now, I want to know how I can make that better for me um, because obviously Toure goes up missing a few times in games and you will see that um, over the course of this episode as well. We are still in Division 11. We are playing the last three games. Well, there's still a lot more games, but we're going to play these three games just to get used to the team a little bit more, get the team spirit up a little bit, hopefully, and be able to push towards higher divisions and also against difficult opponents. If you guys can give me any hints and tips on getting team spirit up I'd be very much appreciated as I did touch over in the last episode I'm doing this channel I'm obviously treating um, my commentary on this game as very newbish like trying to teach beginners I'm a beginner at this game a majority of you guys may be beginners as well so it's helping you I have getting a few comments every day on Twitter uh, where I am say where people are saying that I'm actually helping them and I'm also probably upsetting the hardcore Pro Evolution Soccer gang, um, mainly because they know everything already, and, and that's the same as if you came to FIFA, I will be able to help you in more ways than not. But obviously, if I, if you guys know stuff which I don't, feel free to tweet me it because I do reply to most tweets, and uh, especially regarding Pro Evolution Soccer, because a few people have given me a lot of decent hints and tips on how to get better at the game, how to uh, get better at my club, and that's hopefully the aim of this series. Also, microtransactions are out soon, but I don't think in this series I'm going to be taking advantage of purchasing any players. But that's not to say that I'll be doing anything with the big players, because I do have an Xbox version of the game. Um, obviously, this is played on PlayStation 4, uh, so you you might see something from me um, like one off videos like little play reviews to see if they're actually worth the money you're going to pay now we actually played uh, made a play we're playing this game this guy was battering me we managed to take a 1-0 lead he's got a brilliant goal as you saw previous and then we made a fucking massive balls up and we do actually lose the game 2-1 that was annoying because it was annoying, but I wasn't frustrated because it was my error. If someone makes an error against me, more than likely they're going to be punished by uh, two everyone on through. So now we have three three star agents as well. We're going to take advantage of that, see if we get anything good. And whether the theory does work, where if you stack up three three star agents, you'll get something good. And this will prove you guys. Um, then it's completely random. If you look at the ball selection, there's a few extra goal players. I think there's the odd elite ball as well. And what do we fucking land on? A bronze ball. Now this is a player who is definitely not going to be getting added into the team as we do have um, we do have a better selection like Thiago Silva and also his partner. I can't remember the partner's name. Um, and we're just going to be leaving him out there. But that's a risky taking on agents. Obviously if you want to get the better style player, 75 rated and over, you are going to have to spend 10,000 GP on it. This guy makes a mistake in defence, passing it back to the goalkeeper. He passes it out and we do a nice control shot from outside the area to make it 1-0. Great start to the match to be honest. I think that was within the first couple of minutes um, and I just kept forcing pressure on him getting the ball back quite fast and uh, thankfully my dribbling which I seem to be bringing over from FIFA is working very well. A nice bit of link up play here a high through ball uh, to my left forward and then Toure was there in the middle to tap it in for a simple, um, simple finish. Even though it was classed as a tramp goal it was a very very nice goal in my opinion. So you walk away with a 2-0 victory at after losing the first game 2-1. We are now going to play our third and final match um, of this and uh, try and get some more points before actually sending ourselves into the next division. Now, a few people have also saying they've been increasing their club slots, uh, cl their, their, their club player slots, where you can do that on the My Club store. You can update it to like 40 and then you can rock two teams. Now, people are actually using that uh, for stamina, which is good because the way I only found stamina was on the um, sim divisions. If you want to be wanted, wanted to be quite lazy and uh, just do it that way, that was the way I was doing it. And I think a few of us were. But everyone's been sending me uh, nice uh, messages on Twitter advising me of how to get player, chemist, uh, player stamina sorry, um, a bit better and back a little bit quicker without spending the uh, redemption zone. This game 
we get absolutely smacked. This guy was going forward all the time. Everything was bouncing to him. And there was nothing I could do. He fully deserved the win. But probably not by this score. He makes it 3-0. And I hate people who do not watch the celebrations. Not because I'm an arsehole and I watch my celebrations. The reason I like to watch celebrations is because I don't like the uh, cut on my video when I have to cut it out. And as you're seeing, it's cut very, very short. And you can't even tell it's a goal. So 4-1 the final score was of this game and uh, unfortunately that was my last game of Division 11 as well so the next uh, couple of episodes you are going to see us in Division 10 hopefully getting some decent players and after that disappointing loss I needed to bolster up my team how to do that spend my GP 10,000 GP on a forward um, did we get anything from it no, we never. Did we get anything from the midfield? No, we never. But these two players who maybe might feature in the teams, I, I actually think that the two players we got didn't... Um actually didn't even get any in any positions we need for this formation so who knows we might even swap formation up you can actually tell on these uh, things if the players are going to be good because the balls are uh, the boots are absolutely terrible so we get Charbonnier 76 rated centre forward may get added into the team may not um, but I don't think he will so we're going to leave him on the outside for the time being and then we thought we'd go and treat ourselves by sending our Menanda um, our midfield agent out to go and get us a player with 10,000 G yet again and uh, yet again it completely failed the player who we're never going to get I was I didn't realize how lucky I actually was on the first episode to land on an elite ball uh, we seem to be avoiding these elite balls quite uh, well like the plague at the moment so final player shit boots shit player someone who's not going to get added into the team either it is much a centre midfielder which we don't actually play in this formation if you guys are enjoying this my club content drop a like rating as well subscribe for more awesome content and remember to uh, check out my fifa channel if you're interested in fifa we are hopefully going to be mixing up with a few different series coming up whether it be my club be a legend or even master league master league something i want to get into but i haven't looked yet so until next time guys uh, daily uploads on this channel bye bye have a very very nice day